iridescent beads. I wanted to show you one necklace which I've made, which is made entirely of these little beads, which we are making, plus with a few Japanese glass beads in between. So they're very pearl-like. I also, at this stage, want to show you what you can do whilst you're making the beads, is add colour, only a little bit of colour, and I don't even know if you can tell that that's had colour added to it. But amongst these beads, I've added some marine ink, and what it's done, maybe if they're side by side you can see, what it's done is made one of them have much more depth to it. They're, they're a good length. I quite like this kind of Downton Abbey long necklace, bohemian arts and crafts look. It's all around me at the moment. Actually, I've loved it all my life. But I'm thinking of making some quite exotic beads. And um, that's one that I've made which has got the marine blue in it, so it's even more kind of opalescent-y, which is basically um, just making a bead and adding more and more layers each time. And then on the last stage, taking... I'll show you. Because I think we did it once before on one of the earlier videos using sepia ink, which gives it that nice kind of bronzy colour, because this um, fantasy film, it, depending on how the light catches it, it has pink and it has a sort of golden colour which can go down to sepia and the pink can kind of go into magenta flashes and then it has this sort of bluey colour. It looks like oil on a puddle. Um, so what I do is I use De La Rowney FW Acrylic Ink Marine Blue and take a piece of it and just let's see if you can see here yeah I just go ooh, like that all the way along don't need to do all of it and then I just leave it to, to dry okay there's one here I did earlier I'll just show you how it looks when you make it up because it tends to go very, very dark and it loses that kind of pearlescent quality. So then you need to overlay it with the fantasy film. So we'll have a go at making one rather quickly. We won't do a very large one, we'll just do a regular sized one. So again. a long one. Right. I'm going to make it a bit thicker. Make sure it moves. I have had a few that have stuck. And all I've done is just cut the kebab stick off either end and then wrapped the fantasy film around the end and heat shrunk it. And then they can be used as beads maybe to be wire wrapped or set into something like milliput. Who knows? We'll see. So heat it up a little bit and start to... Actually, I'm going to stop at that point and not put it all over because then I'm going to add this which I think is going to look good Now, if I take that off, it's, um, it's a hard little bead, but the ends aren't very attractive, 
So, and also they haven't any substance. So what I'll do is I'll find out where it goes to the plasticky bit and cut it off so it's like that. And then stick the end back on the kebab stick and possibly put a little bit more over the end. This is for when you want to use, this is a thin seven strand feed along wire, which I use a lot of. So I'm going to just repair that. So I heat the end and then I bring it together and then put some of it on the end somehow. <laughs> Oh, perfect. So it just comes a little bit there. I'll just snip that off. And just. And then we've got quite a neat little hole there, which is too small for a kebab stick, but lovely for the wire to go through because then I can add what I tend to do is maybe add. wire through if I can. Maybe I'll take it through the other end or something. Hmm. I won't go to either end at the moment. I've got to fiddle around with that. But what I would do is um, put little wire put little glass beads there as well. And hopefully, I really do hope then, you know, you've got something like that which would go and make a pair of earrings eventually and I have got a, a lovely long earring lurking here somewhere which I wanted to show you which has fallen away in all my chaos. No it hasn't, there it is. So you see you can make these lovely long earrings but you can make them with a bit more colour and you can add any colour you like because it all plays beautifully into this. It can kind of more greeny. It will all have this sort of iridescent sort of, um, like a fairy tale, really. Like a, a touch of gossamer. Oh, they are really, really beautiful, actually. Like exotic uh, chrysalis of amazing butterflies. And you can touch a little bit of gold leaf on as well. So, I'm going to get busy, make all those beads and come back to you and make necklace. I think I'll go really wild and make a sort of Downton Abbey thing with a central bit with a, a big bead in it, maybe two or three big beads like that, and then the long one as well. And quite long earrings, I think, and a bangle. See you later, alligator.